I'm Chris Rachel Oslin, your kitchen overlord, and on this week's Sci-Fi Life Hacks, it's time to put on your still suits and plant your thumpers, because this week, we're tackling sandworms. An entrepreneurial-minded resident of Tatooine wants to know just how many insubordinate slaves he has to feed the Sarlacc each month in order to keep the creature both alive and stationary. Ooh. You really don't want to let one of those things get too hungry. Trust me, my staff used to be four times this size. You can get away with a minimum of one a week, but your best bet is a comfortable six per month. One dimension traveling reader wants to know whether the Asgardian desert worms are related to the great makers of Arrakis. Mmm. Despite the similarities, I'm afraid the answer is no. If you try to drown one in order to make the mind-altering spice wine, you're just going to end up with a wet, angry worm with a vendetta. And good luck outrunning that. An unfortunate red shirt says two of his friends were eaten by Borgovian landworms. Is there any kind of worm repellent he can wear? Oh, oh, I am sorry, kiddo. Even if there was a perfect anti-worm spray, as a red shirt, I'm pretty sure yours would just gunk up in seconds right before you tried to use it. Just write your family a nice letter and try to make sure they're well taken care of in your will. A new Harkonnen recruit shipping out to the desert planet of Arrakis wants to know if covering his body in cheap cinnamon will mask his scent from the giant sandworms when he goes spice hunting. <laughs> nice try! But I'm afraid all that'll do is clog up the filtration system when the Fremen who find your corpse reclaim the water from your body. Two little ponies by the name of Twilight and Candace say they're really sorry they picked the wrong flower because it sure made that big old worm mad. Is there anything they can do to make it up to him? Well, girls, I recommend you bathe in ketchup and bring all your friends. One recently deceased yuppie wants to know if the living shrimp cocktail she accidentally served at her dinner party was actually just full of baby sandworms. No, no, th those were hell fingers. The sandworm you saw was just Beetlejuice overcompensating in front of Lydia. Valentine McKee wants to know if you can make a Chris knife out of the teeth that are all along a graboid's sides, and if so, what they'll sell for at a flea market. Ah! I wouldn't recommend trying that. If the Fremen catch you selling knockoff Chris knives, they're more likely to slit your throat first and ask questions later. Is there a sci-fi life hack you want us to tackle? Make your plea in the sci-fi life hacks thread at kitchenoverlord.com. Kitchen Overlord, for when you don't want to accidentally poison someone at dinner. Touch the hair, lean forward. Stop touching your hair. I will never stop touching my hair.